7 in the morning. The streets are still so empty. So we're going to see a cave. Five hour hike. So let's get some breakfast. Yep, you guys guessed it. It's McDonald's. I'm a happy boy now. We start our day in the heart of the city in Wan Chai and the destination is in the outskirts of Hong Kong in the new territories deep into the mountains and forest. The location is quite a distance that it is a stone throw away from mainland China. So make sure to stick until the end, it's gonna be a day filled with exciting adventures. Because today is a long hike, I didn't carry all the camera gear. I just have you on my awesome action and the uh, camera, I didn't bring a lot of lens, no drone today. Light, very light. No. It's more about exploration, a bit of scouting, just having fun with friends. It takes around one and a half hours to commute to our starting point, but it's already exciting given the company I had with me. This is mostly a photography channel, but it's exciting just to have days when you don't plan shots or content and no expectations on what to get from a photography perspective. The experience of exploration and sharing it with good company after all, it's what got me hooked into this passion in the first place. Apparently, we don't need to do the five hour hike. There's like a bus directly to the cave. But, but Calvin, wanted, but wanted to see all those World War II relics. Can't straight away go to them without doing foreplay. You need foreplay. Okay, you need, you need foreplay. Finally, we arrived at a tiny quiet village to start our hike and already you can see the difference from where we started. Greens and mountains all around with no towering skyscrapers. The hike gets steep right away with the trail being very raw with few man-made interventions and a narrow path. Probably should have worn pants. <laughs> the lookout point though made me wish I brought a bit more gear because it was definitely a sight to admire. We arrived at a relatively flatter part of the trail. I'm so thankful that I didn't bring all the telephoto, the drone today. Cutting down on the weight. I quite like the ridges over here and it produces a lot of layers. <sighs> Would have loved a telephoto shot from here. We scramble further up and head towards the peak. At this point, I already found the hike a bit monotonous. It felt like it was just going up forever and the higher we went, the stronger the gusts of wind became. After spending a bit of time at the peak for photos, we are finally heading towards the cave we set out to visit. So you see that city over there? That's not Hong Kong anymore. That's shit. So we are deeper into the mountain trail now, covered in trees, a lot more protected from the wind. A while ago at the peak lookout, it felt like a facial treatment. My face feels a bit numb from the cold wind. Hey, hello to my new friends. Hi. I just met them on the trail. This is the funnest part of hiking on a trail, meeting new people. It says danger. So the cave is a lot smaller than I expected, but closed off some parts of the, the cave. Yeah, it looks like that side is the popular hot uh, photo spot to see the, the formations of the cave. Lots of people suddenly. I thought it would be the only ones here. <laughs> Hiking up was pretty empty, no? <laughs> yeah. We should have done the same thing. <laughs> Despite feeling underwhelmed with the size of the cave, it was a unique experience as it was the first time I've been inside one here in Hong Kong. I've said this before, you really don't need to go far to experience new things. Today was definitely just a good day to explore, take a bit of pressure off always taking the best photos, immerse myself with the outdoors, and just enjoy the time with friends. Oh, yeah, friend zone. Yeah. Mark is friend zone. <laughs> but it's okay, you have 3 p.m. today. Yeah. 3 p.m., 3 p.m. Mark has a date. The final leg of the hike requires us to go down a long staircase that leads us to a restricted area. 
where we are unable to hail public transportation. So we have to move further deep into the mountain trail and literally traverse on the edge of Hong Kong. To the fans of Korean dramas, this gave me a feeling of starring and crash landing on you. I've never stood so close to the border. And didn't know it would look like this. <laughs> I feel like I'm smuggling something. <laughs> We scramble one final time in the woods, having our patience tested by having to climb up with a rope. Unfortunately, we ran out of time to visit the World War II relics, but having to see the cave and then cutting through Hong Kong's border made for an exciting exploration nonetheless. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you again next time. Jenna, do the heart. <laughs>